everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another Halloween video. I am bringing this October. Today we are in full seductive siren Barbie mermaid fantasy. I have this stunning purple hair on, there's glitter, there's rhinestones, and this top. It's sickening girl. I really hope you guys enjoyed this transformation. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any other looks you want to see from me and subscribe to a bitch and hit that notification bell to tell you when I upload. Hopefully, if I can get my ass in gear, it's gonna be every single day this month. So, hope you're prepared for all my content and without further ado, let's get on up with this transformation, shall we? Thanks for watching. So I'm going to be starting this look off with a hefty amount of body bronzer on and a freshly cleansed and shaved face. And then you know the routine by now. I'm first going to go in with my Mario Badescu facial spray for some hydration. And then I'm going to prime with a lot, like more than I would normally use, of my Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Just to add that really gorgeous lit from within underwater sea goddess glow. And then to colour correct my bird area, since this is a mermaid look, not a merman, I went in with an orange toned colour corrector and then just lightly set it with powder. For my foundation, I took the Krylon TV Paint Sticks Super Full Coverage Drag Makeup and I mixed the shade 3W and 7W just to create a really tanned, gorgeous effect to my skin. And then I used 406 for my highlight shade. And I will link below my full coverage highlight and contour routine for drag just in case I'm going a little bit quick through anything. And then I'm going to use the shade 10W to contour and really chisel out my features and add that gorgeous bronzed effect. Once I was happy with how everything looked, I heavily set in place using my Coty Loose Air Spoon Powder, which makes the makeup bullet proof and then I just quickly filled in my brows off camera and then set down all the powders with a little bit more of the Mario Badescu facial spray and then just fanned it down with a fan just to speed up the whole like dry down process. For my eyes I initially took this pink shade from the BH Cosmetics Festival palette and I just winged it out like how I normally do so roughly through the crease and back towards my temples kind of everywhere it doesn't need to be too precise this is our first transition shade. To deepen it I then went in with a dolly pop from Sugar Pill and I just took that shade slightly lower down since it's a lot more vibrant a lot more pink and really really pretty and then I softened that kind of top edge using Suburbia which is a soft peach shade also from Sugar Pill just to help everything look a little bit more blended and seamless. To deepen the look I took this deeper red shade from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I just popped that onto the kind of outer V of my eye and slightly winged it out into the kind of crease area. To carve out my eyelid in an exaggerated drag way I went in with my Kevin Aquan Essential Skin Enhancer Concealer and just gave myself a bigger eyelid shape than I naturally have since my eyes are hooded and then I set it down with this gorgeous shimmery shade from the Dose of Colors ice cream palette. I then did define the crease a slightly like more with that pink shade and the red shade from the Anastasia palette just to make everything look a little bit more cut but then I slightly blended it out just so it wasn't as severe. I then popped a little bit more of that red shade onto the outer V of my eye and just smoked it up so it looked a little bit more sultry. And then took this gorgeous blue shade from the Juvia's Place palette but then I realized that the festival palette also had like the exact same blue shade so I just smoked it out with the matte blue and the shimmery blue in the festival palette just to create like a little bit more smoke to my lower lash and then intensified the inner corner with more of the like bright metallic blue. For the glitter I took this NYX glitter in rose pink and I first laid down the Too Faced glitter glue primer so patted that on my eyelid and then patted this gorgeous 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 pink glitter on top and honestly the camera just not give this justice on how absolutely stunning it is. However I would recommend doing your eyeliner first. I realised as I went to do my eyeliner how difficult it would be to draw it over glitter. Doesn't work the best. To contour, I went in with my Makeup Revolution Highlight and Contour Palette and then bronze using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And then to add a little bit of that like scaly mermaid effect, I then just literally pulled my wig cap down and just filled it in with pink eyeshadow. I did go really heavy with this and I also did it on my cheeks and everywhere and... In the end, I didn't like how pink and over the top it looked, so I did go back over it with some body bronzer and just kind of toned it all down with some foundation powder, but I literally just ran that and lots of like shimmery pink shades all over my body, but it made me look more diseased than mermaidy. For my lips, I went in with the Candy Lip Liner from BH Cosmetics and then filled in with Chrysanthemum from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and I did pop a little bit of gloss just in the centre afterwards just to make them look extra juicy. And then yeah, all you gotta do is pop on lashes or a wig and tone down that pink so you don't look diseased and that is the finished look. Thanks for watching.